So this is Tony B. Tony B. Conscious, and I'm going to ask questions from the um, for the book. So first of all, um, Tony, tell me your story. Well, my story is very um, vast. I have yeah. at least five or six different chapters. I've lived like five. I'm like a I'm like a cat. I've lived nine lives. My first life was in Seattle when I was growing up. My nickname used to be Romeo, and back there I was a hip hop, you know, rapper, break dancer, ladies man, <laughs> you know, type dude. Then my second chapter is I left there and I moved to Hollywood. Yeah. I moved to Hollywood. I became an actor on TV shows like Fresh Prince, The Wayans Brothers, stuff like that. That's chapter two. Amazing. Chapter three. I moved to Atlanta and I started doing music and started doing um I started doing music and um was around the the start of the neo soul movement in Atlanta doing doing music spoken word and everything. Chapter 4. I moved back to LA. I become the number one artist at Venice Beach doing street art. It's beautiful. How long were you in Venice Beach? Uh, for around 20 years. Damn. I'm the only one who has a historical book by an artist that was on Venice Beach, about Venice Beach, that actually encapsulates that period of time. In other words, I took pictures of everybody who was there at that time, you know, and wrote their bios all on a book. So a lot of the people have died and other things have happened to them. Um, some some have gotten old and they're not doing it anymore. And this book is the only book in which their families and people from that time period can actually go back and read about the people and see pictures of them actually there. I love it. It's called Life's a Beach and Then You Die. <laughs> and yeah, yeah. So, so I'm... That's probably the thing I'm I'm the most proud of yeah. from Venice Beach is um is I'm having done that. Um, then the chapter after that is the chapter five. where I move chapter five. I move um Venice Beach starts to get gentrified by Silicon Valley, everything. Everything dies and I move here. Hey peace sister, good to see you. Um so chapter five is I move up back to the bay. I started hanging out in Cal State Berkeley or in Berkeley on Telegraph. I become a Telegraph vendor out there. I, be, I become the number one vendor on Telegraph. Um, the Daily Cal, the newspaper for the college, starts um, putting me in there for winning the number one vendor award every year. And um, there's a Berkeley flea market. They make me the number one artist there and they put me on a um an electric box which i'm still on oh, on the sweet. corner of ashby and martin luther king my picture and my bio is still on the electric <laughs> box but they but the city of berkeley loves me so much that they get that they that they that they immortalize me out there then covid happens uh. and after covid i move here yeah I start doing this right here so well, that's chapter six. Chapter six. So, yes. What do you like about uh, Hate Ashbury? What do I like about Hate? Yeah. The, the history. I mean, I know right now, it, it reminds me a lot like Venice Beach right now. Because it's like, it has a history, but you have a lot of capitalists and a lot of people who are coming here to make money off of being on Hate without really get bringing the energy of hate back to hate. Yeah. I love Hate Street because, you know, it was for my mom's generation. My mom knew Jimi Hendrix when he was young. You know, they went to school together, Garfield, whatever. But um, back in those days, it was about artists. It was about freedom of speech. It was about expression. It was about music. It was about people coming out here who were tapped in to spirit and having a place where they could express themselves. Yeah. And that was taken away 
by people who wanted to open up stores and make money off the hate name, but not give hate back the vibration it deserves. So I came yeah, out right. here because naturally, like on Venice Beach, everywhere I go, I naturally bring that vibration, that L-O-V-E, love, living on vibrational energy. I bring that A-R-T, art, always resonating truth. And I bring the music, metaphysically universal sounds, interpreting consciousness. I like, always bring nice. that with me yeah. everywhere I go. And hate really needed, it was like hate needed a wellness check. It needed somebody to come out here and try to give it a, a booster shot of that which it used to be. And that's what my art does. I'm trying to give it a booster shot so that we can get back to the vibration. So even if, so even if the children and the people beneath me never really get to fully understand what hate was about, they can get a little tiny piece of it right here. Yeah. How you doing, princess? You okay? <laughs> I'm just doing an interview for a magazine. It's cool. It's cool. He does it all it's the time. Cool. Yeah, yeah, I do it all the time. What's it's your favorite Jesus picture? Oh. This one? She's a big fan, yeah. Oh, yay! Yay! Tell Dad to get it for you. <laughs> I wish I could take it. It's too big for the flag. No, it ain't. Oh, Watch this. Watch this. You think I'm playing. Huh. Bam, 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 bam. Put it in your suitcase, put clothes on top of it. <laughs> Bam! <laughs> Isn't that good? How old are you, little princess? Ten. You're only ten years old? What? <laughs> Talk to dad. Say, I don't want you to give him all of my allowance, but give him something so I can have this. I'm not worried about the money. I want you to have it, so... So we'll work it out, but you deserve this. If you like this, you deserve it. You are the one I make it for. Do you like it? If you look at do you like it? Yeah. Yeah. Do you have like a little thing? Two things. Huh? We don't have cash. I have cash up and I have Zell. Okay. You want cash up? I don't have cash up. Okay, I got you. Hold on, I got a bag for you. I'm not gonna make it like so it's so it's I got you, little sister. Okay, what about the John Lennon? Where's John Lennon? Look. See? This one's smaller. Look. See? I mean, okay. Definitely hit me up. Let hit me, me up. know. Extremely kind of you. We literally, like, they went that song with anything smaller than 20 centimeters. Oh no! I know. Oh we really? We literally just have like a tiny little take one. You have to be able to fit it in front of the seat in front of you. Oh, let me see. I don't do I have anything else. We've, we've packed extremely light. This is very kind of you. Oh. Oh, I'm sorry, princess. <laughs> I wanted you to have it. Thank oh. you. Oh, Have you're a welcome. Good one. You Did you guys want a photo though? Have a good though? time while you're here. Yeah. No, too shy. No worries. Thanks, guys. Bye. It's all love. Good one. I got you. <laughs> well, you know, I try. It's super sweet. Yeah, man. Super sweet. That like I said. Suitcase. Yeah. Like I said, that was the energy of um, Hate Street before, you know, before the capitalists moved in. Yeah. It wasn't about the money. It's about the art. Like her. I owe her a piece of art, and she won't come collect. One day she came and just gave me a bunch of money and said, this is a down payment on a piece of art. Oh. And she still hasn't came and collected. Hasn't decided. I don't get it. It'll come. It'll come. I don't It'll get come. it. I'm getting something. Okay, well, you know, well, you know you got, well, you know you got a gold card. You got a gold card over here. She got a gold card. Yeah, she came it. over here one day. She came over here one day and gave me a handful of money and said, this is a down payment. 
I'll come back and get it. I remind her every time. She don't. She, she never. She's like. She's like. I'll get it when I when, when I see. You know. So one day. One, one day. day. One day. Yeah. So that's what it's about out here. It's about the the whole energy of of Jimmy, of Janice, of Jerry Garcia, of John Lennon, of Sly Stone. You know. I am everyday people, people, and it's a family affair. It's a family affair out here. That's what Hate Street is really about. Us really respecting one another, looking at one another, and seeing the most beautiful part of ourselves in each other. Yeah. Well, different strokes for different, different folks. <laughs> na, 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 shooby do we do. Oh, uh, uh, <laughs> we gotta live together. That's what it's about. That's what my art is about over here. That's what it's really about. All of us coming together and finding something that represents us so that we can celebrate our similarities instead of letting governments and other people exploit our differences. We've let people exploit our differences for too long or in the name or in the words of Isaac Newton, men build way too many walls and not enough bridges. The Bay Area sure. is known for bridges. So we're over here building bridges to one another. Bridges in humanity. We're not building walls. Don't yeah. listen to that wall. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to that wall. We're trying to tear walls down. We're building bridges. Do you Tony, understand? I love